We are back to respond to your questions yet again. Even though some of them weren't questions. We're here to respond to whatever it is that you said. Yeah, that. Hey, I'm Trace. I'm Lacey. I'm Anthony. May it never be said that we do not listen to our viewers. Yes, even though we cannot hear you, we can not, feel not you. directly. We right. can feel yeah. you inside. <laughs> right here. Yes, okay, let's answer questions. <laughs> <laughs> so in Lacey's video about going crazy in the most silent room in the world, it got so many comments. And people really wanted to know why deaf people don't go crazy. We do have a couple hypotheses. Yeah. Uh, first one being, if you are born deaf, you don't know any other state of being, mm -hmm. so silence probably will not bother you. Yeah, when some people go deaf, it's like a gradual process. Um, so you don't actually just experience this sudden change. Um, so you kind of get used to it as you go. I would have assumed that there's some sort of like weaning up of sound happening. So you remember that awesome 4D printing stuff that Anthony did? Vaguely. What if they make buildings out of it? DST kind of asks if they plan to eventually get to multiple reactions, wouldn't they need a way to stop those reactions once the structure is complete? Otherwise, you know, if you're inside of a building and it rained on it, that it was a 4D printed building? Yeah, so what he's, what he's referring to is these, uh, the 4D printed strands have the ability to bend up or down, and that's how they right. turn into structures. I think what would happen is they would get to a point where outside structures are only made for one reaction. And then inside structures, they were talking about things that constantly react, like water pipes. So instead of having to use pump systems for water pipes, they could expand and contract. Uh, cool. So I think it's like a, a matter of using the right one in the right instance. On your video about spring, somebody commented, am I the only one who was expecting a video about the history of springs? <laughs> uh, I didn't mind though when I saw how excited Trace was about the season spring. <laughs> you puppy, you. You are a yeah. puppy. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you can do a video about the wonder of springs in the future. Well, Osiris Malkovich, yeah. I love I simple, guess. like simple, simple machines. machines. I was thinking the same thing. There are seven simple machines, I think, and mm -hmm. we could totally do a video about it. I, yeah, I'm I love it. them. I'm into it. What's your favorite one? I like levers. The inclined plane yeah. is my favorite. You know what's really weird is I thought he was talking about springs like a body of water. Let's do a video about springs from a hot springs. Okay, speaking of hot things, I it. totally agree with Aldridge517, who thinks Anthony should get a mohawk. I've thought about it before. He was talking about the Mars life thing, so. Yeah think that you should do it if they find life on Mars. I'll tell you what, if they go to that mountain and they find organic compounds on Mars, I will I will give myself a mohawk. Yes! We're gonna hold you this to it. This is gonna be awesome. Don't care. Hold them I'll to it, it, internet. Hold them to it. <laughs> uh, plants being able to hear, got a lot of comments about yeah. vegetarianism, you yeah. troll baiter. <laughs> I did bait you them. I <laughs> baited right Michael that so one. much. Ask for it. <laughs> Where's your moral high ground now, vegetarians? It was a joke. It was completely yeah. a joke. So Tabitha's Habitat made a great point that even though, even setting aside the sentience argument, mm. eating plants is better for the environment. It uses less water. It uses yep. less resources. It fewer greenhouse gases and so on and so forth. So you are absolutely right. Vegetarians do have a lower carbon footprint in many cases. But I, I was, Go was a big joke. And, and I like plants. Uh, conspiracy theories always bring out the most unique sunflowers in the Dean News Garden. Uh, K-Man 1917 had a great point about Lacey's video. He said, the reason I dislike most conspiracy theories is that they do a disservice to the people who actually have valid and empirical arguments against the government. This is true. There are some things that are being hidden from us. There are some things that we're not being told the truth about. Yeah. The whole thing in the video was like, it can't be proven wrong. And so when we're talking about, you know, the government hiding things from people, like, it's not like discrediting conspiracy theories means we right. can never critique the government. All it's saying right. is that it, we're, we, there needs to be a way for us to prove it right or wrong. All right, guys, thanks so much for your comments and for all of your questions and for talking to us. We really enjoy reading what you guys have to say best about our Best audience, videos. right? Yeah, yeah. Best, best audience, audience on YouTube. I think so. Or Hands anywhere. Down. Gold star. Gold star, everybody. So keep <laughs> sending those in. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And uh, we will see you real soon, we'll twice see a day. Yeah. That's right.